Need to win a bet? Here's a simple anatomical challenge you can try. Ask someone to place their hand on a flat surface with their middle finger tucked under their palm. All they need to do is lift each of the remaining digits independently. Before they start, make sure they're gently pushing down on that middle digit and get them to start with their index finger. Next, see if they can lift their little finger. Finally, challenge them to lift their ring finger all by itself. At this point, their finger should stay locked in place and you can accept their crushing defeat with your normal grace and humility. So, what's happening? Well, extension of the digits is primarily controlled by a single muscle. Extensor digitorum longus. Although it starts with a single muscle belly, it finishes with four long tendons, one to each of the digits. However, these tendons don't stay entirely separate. As they move through the dorsum of the hand, we find tendinous connections between them. These connections mean that all the tendons move together, which help generate power, but limits independent extension of the fingers. So when the middle finger is locked in a flexed position, this connection between the tendons stops the ring finger from being able to extend. Now it's important to note this only works one way. Holding the ring finger down doesn't stop extension of the middle finger. The reason for this is the angle of the connection between the tendons. With the middle finger in flexion, this connection is pulled tight and unable to move. But when the ring finger flexes, the connection becomes looser, allowing movement of the middle finger. You might also be wondering, if there are connections between all of these tendons, why can Peter Pointer and Baby Small still move? Well, that's because each of these digits have an extra extensor. The second digit has extensor indices that, well, extends the index finger. Meanwhile, the little finger can be extended using extensor digiti minimi. Now, if you like Latin, you can remember this because its name literally means the extensor of the smallest digit. However, if you've seen Austin Powers, you might prefer to remember that Dr. Evil uses this muscle to extend his little finger and his henchman, if called Minimi. Anyway, those are the extents of the digit and an anatomical party trick that gives you a pretty fair idea of how much fun I am at social gatherings. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. But otherwise, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll hopefully see you soon.